So this function is a really easy to use, a uh, really helpful to use function when you have a, a drawing that's skewed like this on some sort of angle rather than having a nice north, south, east, west drawing such as this. So if you have a drawing that looks like this and you have a, uh, a control point like the center of your steel or your column and you can't access it, but you have a two foot by two foot offset or something similar to that, and you want to sketch away from that two foot, two foot, a lot of times you go to this middle application window and you come over here to this offset point and you assume that you can just go there, tap that point and say, hey, I want to take this point to a two foot, two foot offset. So you type in two feet, two feet. And if you notice the problem is it does do two feet, two feet, but it goes up two feet directly north and to the right two feet directly east. So actually, that's not what you need. That'll work on a drawing that's north, south, east, west, but not on this. So what you do instead is you come down to this middle application window and you go to sketch. This is what we call sketch. And then uh, what you can do from sketch is you can tap that same point and it's going to put an arrow going up. That's fine. But now I can come over here and say sketch and I can set my orientation and it says select two points for line. Well, I'll just select this line that it's on. And what happens is when I select it is the arrow starts to orient at everything that I'm going to do from there. So now I have this line selected and I can like tap these arrows on this side and it just completely circles that line at 45 degree angles exactly. So now I come in here and type in two feet, say enter. So now I can go two feet check and then I can go to the right, two feet check. And now I have this point right here and I can set that as my control point. Sometimes to make it easier on you, you can even come into your uh, layers tab and just remove a bunch of layers that uh, you don't need and just turn on like your grid that you're going to be pulling from so you can see it. But anyway, figured that would help you.